old Alabama gardener and I'm going to show you how I make bone broth. In this video I'm going to show you the end product first. Now let's get making it. I'm going to use this thing called an instant pot and it's actually a steam cooker. We're going to use a whole chicken and we're going to wash it at first and then remove the giblet package which is in a paper bag inside the cavity. The instant pot has a stainless steel inner pot that you see me taking out right here. Okay, let's get this chicken cooking. Now we're going to add a 32 ounce box of store-bought chicken broth. You could use water if you want to, but that will make you have a weaker bone broth. We need the extra liquid in here for when we start cooking the bones. Now let's move the pot with the chicken and the broth back into the instant pot. Now put the lid on and twist it to lock it in place. Now make sure the vent lever is set to the middle position. Make sure the pot's turned on and push that poultry button. And now push that plus button until the panel indicates 50 minutes. When the display looks like this, that means the pot is warming up and getting ready to start producing steam. It takes a little while to warm up the chicken and the broth, but then the display will change to the numbers and it'll start timing the cooking. At this point, you can turn the vent lever slightly one way or the other to start it venting. Grab you a couple pieces of paper towel and fold them up to help you lift that hot pot out of the Instapot. Now get you some kind of a bowl or a pan to put that chicken in. And you're going to need some kind of slotted spoon like I got here because that chicken will fall apart. Did you notice how the leg quarters just fell off and remained in the pot? Now it's time to separate the meat from the bones. Put the bones back into our pot because we're going to cook them even still longer. Now we're going to split the breast apart, remove the bones, put them back into the pot here, and then we can put the breast parts in the freezer. Now grab your paper towels and let's set this pot back into the instant pot. Put the lid on and turn it to lock it in place. Be sure to turn the vent lever to the middle position. Now this time we're going to push the manual button and we're going to run the time up to about 70 minutes. Remember, we're making bone broth. That's why it takes so long. So now you need to go do something else. May get on the computer, watch some of old Alabama Gardener's videos. The pot's going to go back through a warming up process 
and then it'll start cooking again. Now our cooking time is finished and we're going to carefully remove the inner pot and take it over there so we can strain it. I'm using a pretty large sieve and I'm going to lift that pot and actually just pour the liquid, bones and all out into the sieve. Now we gotta set this in the refrigerator for overnight. The next morning, the fat will have solidified and we can carefully skim it off with a spoon. And there you have it. Delicious, nutritious bone broth. This is what you saw me drinking at the beginning of this video. So just get you a half a cup, put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, and put a little bit of salt in it for flavoring, and it is delicious.